Howdy Libra! Welcome to your 2018 tarot reading, annual tarot reading I should say. It's Raina here and as you can see I was mid, um, what would you call it, dealing out the cards and I was getting bogged down in an explanation about something. As you can see in the top row, I got two reversed cards. I did kind of divvy up these cards, you can't really see it. <laughs> this, this thing is all jacked up, this, um, what do you call it, a tripod of mine, so it's very hard for me to maneuver, but um, I had divided the cards into several piles and was picking from each pile, and I noticed that two times I picked from the same pile and they were reverse cards. I have a rule, if that happens twice, I look at the bottom of that pile, and if the card is reversed, I assume I made a mistake and I picked up the, the deck upside down. So I'm not going to just keep <laughs> dealing out reverse cards, but I do read reversed cards. So I try to have it both ways in a certain sense, because there are meanings for reversed cards. Sometimes the reverse meaning is better. But here's the interesting thing. When I looked at the bottom of the deck, it was upright, so go figure. So I'm um, going to take the three piles and just kind of shuffle it a few times, and then I'm just going to go like this so that we have more opportunities. Because I have seen other some other readers where <laughs> you can tell they, they, they picked it up upside down and every card comes out reversed, and it's like, no, I, I would not do that. But... Um, you know, whatever. This is not this is not that serious that we have to get all bent out of shape. And I'm going to this is a special spread that I devised for this actual reading, and I am going to tell you about what each position means after I have laid out the cards. So do not fret. Okay, I actually, this is kind of good because I think that I'm going to be pretty well in frame with these for the most part. Okay, wow, interesting. That was a card that had been at the bottom of the deck and I actually picked it. Okay, so the top row are influences coming from last year, 2017, and even, who knows, maybe even from long ago. But either things that you resolved in 2017 that are kind of uh, still in your mind for whatever reason and maybe influencing current events, or they are things that you still need to possibly tie up more loose ends. You know, it's not like we go into a new year and everything is just fresh. So let's look at this. The first card is the Ten of Wands. This could simply be that in 2017 you were working quite, diffi uh, quite uh, diligently, uh, possibly overworking yourself. In some cases you may have taken on more than you needed to take on, that you should have taken on. Maybe you are we're doing somebody else's work. Like if this was in an office, someone had a maternity, maternity leave and the boss said, oh, Sally the Libra will be happy to do uh, two people's jobs because that's how Sally is. Sally is such a nice, good Libra that just tries to people please and is afraid of any kind of criticism, or, well, not just criticism, but, you know, is afraid of um, someone not, not approving of her. So let's let Sally do it. Now, it was funny that I said taking over for somebody's maternity leave because I got, like, the, the, 
the Queen of Wands in reverse, and this is like kind of like the stage mother from hell, or just kind of like that diva type of a mother influence. You know, somebody who like makes a big show of the fact that they are a mother. Because uh, the, the Queen of Wands can be a drama queen as it is. And so because queens can actually relate to mothers, it is possible that that was the exact scenario. I just kind of said that without thinking. And uh, then when I saw that Queen of Wands in reverse, I thought, wow, maybe this is really happening. Or simply a boss. Maybe you had a boss that is a complete tyrant, a, a female boss. And it's like, wow, you know, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to please this person, and I can't jump through enough hoops with this person. I think they should have had uh, a bunch of hoops for the Ten of Wands, because that's what it feels like whatever it is. So, Libra, um, I would say anything I, last year, and I'm recording this actually in 2017, I'm just pretending it was last year, but anything in 2017 that felt that it was very uh, challenging, that you were trying to make something happen, especially Taking on somebody else's burden, I want you to reflect upon that. Were you able to break away from that tendency? Because it could even be in a personal relationship. Okay, um, actually, I was just thinking about, it's funny how I think about these cards before I actually, like, take notice of, of what it means. The Seven of Cups is a card of confusion and sometimes diluted thinking. Now, with these other cards, this could be a situation of possible somebody who is an alcoholic. And this could be a partner. Perhaps you're an enabler to somebody who is drinking too much and maybe expecting you to carry them to pick up the slack. If they don't go to work to call their boss and lie for, for them. And um, the question is, is that the right thing to do? And, you know, how is that working out for you? But really, the other thing about the Seven of Cups is that if you're in a work situation and, yeah, the boss may be a woman, maybe not, maybe, you know, we're not going to get technical about if this is an authority figure whether or not it's a man or a woman. But it could be a person who is abusing their authority and making you do something that is beyond your job description so that they can benefit somehow. And with the Seven of Cups, you may be fantasizing about what you're going to do. And yet you may be kind of like scattered in your thinking and you don't really have a game plan. Or this, you know, I'm saying this as it's the present tense, but I guess because I'm still in 2017 that I'm saying this, but this could still be um, something that you have to contend with as you go into the new year. We're having a full moon on the first day of the year. So it's funny, a new year and then yet this, this uh, ending. And actually on the last day we're having another full moon a blue moon, the second full moon in one month. And in addition to that, it's a lunar eclipse in Leo. So the month of January is bookended by two full moons. So we go in with some sort of ending and we leave with an ending. And how this affects you, I don't know, but it could be a situation where you feel this sense of wanting a different life, but maybe you're just in the fantasy stage. You're just kind of imagining it. And actually, that's fine. Because in order to take steps, first you have to even formulate a game plan. The, the danger, of course, is always that the person 
is too is so absorbed in fantasy that they don't realize that um, they are not really being realistic about something. There, it's almost like a um, a distraction. So always be careful of um, whatever it is that you are thinking about in relationship to a job or if it's, this is a you know a personal relationship where the other person is kind of in a way using you because they are not doing what they need to do and they're having you pick up the slack it's it's okay to imagine a better life but you also have to be realistic about how you're going to get there too And the last card I got for this past influence, the world card in reverse. So the world card can be, I, it's interesting because it can, it's the card of completion of, my, of the major arcana, last card, but it's in reverse. So it could be that these situations are lingering in 2018 and still need to be resolved. Of course, Libra is known for indecision, aren't you? And I've certainly um, witnessed li Libra indecision in action. And what is indecision? Indecision is simply not trusting yourself and also not trusting in the universe. Believing that there is only one possible action to take. And if you don't take the right one, your whole life is just going to fall apart. What if it isn't that serious? What if there's always another chance? Just throwing it out there for you to think about. The world card in reverse can also refer refer to a travel um arrangement perhaps you were you were scheduled to go somewhere and that was canceled now of course as the year ends we are in a mercury retrograde i'm recording this on the day that mercury goes direct and um so it may have been that you wanted to travel during the holidays and something um can got canceled and so you're going to have to you know maybe your trip is going to be in 2018 but it doesn't mean it's um, not going to happen if that's what was happening. Or maybe you're going to graduate from college and you found out that you're short a few credit hours. Well, that doesn't mean you're not going to graduate eventually. It might just be put off for another semester. So basically what the, the world card in, in the upright position stands for is completion. Um, moving on to the next phase of your life. And something in 2017 kind of puts um, that on hold. And some of that may be your own refusal to take certain actions and, and make certain decisions. And some of it may be kind of in a way beyond your control and timing issues that will work out eventually. Let's look at the themes for 2018. The first card that I have here is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a card of new beginnings with career. So you may get a new job offer. Um, I always show that as the portal to a new life. Um, in some cases, if you are single, you may have a relationship with a an earth sign or an earthy fire sign or earthy air sign or earthy water sign. Um, the earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Who would Librans most likely get with? Either, I would say either Libra or Capricorn. I mean, um, <laughs> not Libra, um, Capricorn or... Virgo, because Virgo is right next to you, and I actually know a couple where one is a Virgo and one is a Libra, but also 
Capricorn is another cardinal sign. And so it forms a square. And square um, sign people tend to irritate each other. But they still manage to fall in love. And I think that's because opposites sometimes do attract. Okay. So that could be also that you receive a business loan, that you have some, maybe you get some money just out of the blue. The, the clouds can indicate this kind of, um, what do they call that? Uh, what do they call that when it's just like this money that is gifted to you? I can't think of the term, but you know, it's just like, wow, all of a sudden I have this money that I didn't expect. And um, that, that would be wonderful. And the clouds just indicate the universe, you know, supplying you with your, your needs, your desires. The next card is the judgment card. So for some people, if you have been trying to get divorced, maybe that's what that world card was. Um, some sort of divorce either you're proceeding, maybe you were in court and that did not get resolved in 2017, then it will come to fruition in 2018. Also, the judgment card is a rebirth. So with that Ace of Pentacles, it's that feeling of newness, that feeling of like, wow, I'm really moving into a new phase of my life. And um, of course, you have... You, you start the year with Jupiter in your second house of earned income in the sign of Scorpio. And this is going to be the case for most of 2018, that you have Jupiter in this house. So your financial area can get expanded. And that can be very good um, for people who have been feeling like you're kind of treading water and not really progressing with your salary if you just were earning the same amount for years on end you may suddenly have a, a boost oh you know what word I was looking for a windfall and I was talking about that that card about money so you never know you could just have some kind of a windfall and with the judgment card it could even be karma like for past good deeds people think karma means punishment but karma means action and it, you, that's why there's good karma and there's bad karma. And, and that's all relative. What we think is good could be actually injurious. What we think is bad can be actually good in the long run. So it's all, um, it doesn't, that doesn't matter. But um, then we have the Three of Wands. And this is a card of travel. Especially if you have some, something to sell to foreign countries. You know, because this is a career card too. So if it's an entrepreneurial card. So with that, that world, world card in the, in the uh, reverse position, you may finally be traveling at some point. And that um, can lead you to uh, more expansive sites. Maybe you've been um, playing small in your life, and now you're feeling this sense of possibility. And then we have the Hierophant. Now, if there's a, an Earth sign, Tor, uh, Taurus is one of them, and this card connects to Taurus. This is a card of philosophical framework. Could be higher education. Or just like uh, sometimes marriage. If that's something, you know, with the judgment card, you may have gotten divorced so that you can marry somebody else. And uh, the Hierophant is simply uh, you looking at life from more than just a mundane perspective and seeing how things are interrelated, how everything is connected. And that helps you to appreciate your life at a finer level and also to make decisions that are more inspired and that are not just connected to selfish desires but to your highest good and so 
I really like those cards for 2018 because they speak to like the the ace of pentacles is like your your actual physical well-being and it by the way the ace of pentacles if you've been having some kind of um feelings of being run down it's possible that the ace of pentacles means that you have new vitality even physically because the 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 pentacles can relate to your body and so you may be starting a new health regimen um so anyway the the bottom row are outside influences for 2018 so in a way they continue with these themes one card we have here is the chariot this could be a cancer individual um also the chariot can uh relate to travel this is another travel card as well as a car so perhaps this is going to be the year that you trade in your car for a new model and it's also the card of victory and I think this is they say this is the best card for some kind of uh, you know winning something and so that may indicate that you're going to have a very successful year and that can be very helpful um, some of these cards may actually indicate individuals who help you or are very influential to you. This is the King of Cups. This could be a boss that you have who is very sympathetic to you and that you feel like you're in tune with on a psychic level. And this would uh, usually be an older male who is very mature in his emotional nature, does not... You know, not somebody who's going to be lashing out at his employees. Um, so if you, um, you know, it's funny. I'm looking back, you know, in that row. That was where that Queen of Wands in reverse was. So if we were to connect these cards, that judgment card could be a judgment against your, your former employer for their unfair treatment. And now you have, I mean, the, the King of Cups might even be a mediator who sees your side and has sympathy for you. Also, the King of Cups can be a counselor. It can be the father of your child. It, you know, when I say counselor, it could even be like a minister, a priest, someone who in 2018 really helps you to make sense of your life especially if you feel like you're kind of spinning your wheels now with the hierophant in, in the middle row it could be that you are feeling like you need to delve deeper into your life like maybe you've been kind of skimming the surface of life and you might start to say what is it all about and this person may be kind of like almost like a guru who can explain their their uh, version of what what life is about and give you some possible insights to help you navigate life with a little bit more clarity and we have the three of swords this is a card of feeling betrayed now, this is not you, though, so this is an outside influence. So it's possible, you know, talking about these outside influences, that you may have to cut. This is a card of cutting something to the quick. You may have friendships that have, you know, expired. Their, their shelf life has expired. And perhaps you've hung on to them you don't want to hurt them but you really don't feel like you have anything in common with them anymore maybe you notice that some of these people are rather negative and you don't really enjoy their company anymore it's possible that these were college friends or people from the neighborhood people that you grew up with and you have a hard time saying no that you don't want to get together so you keep going along with it maybe you keep kind of um, talking to them through social media but you are like how can I get rid of this person and this card is kind of saying that you would have to just be done with it 
One thing that I want to say, if this resonates with anybody out there, one thing you can do without having to make it so noticeable is to delay your responses. So if, you, if somebody normally texts you and you really are kind of like, oh man, I, I wish I could just, you know, lose this relationship. If they text you that day, you can wait a day. And then you can wait two days, you know what I mean? And just kind of like ease out of that situation. And if that person confronts you rather than lying and saying, oh, no, 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 you can just say, well, you know, I just feel like for the time being, I'm going to, you know, that we just need to just go our separate ways. And it's nothing against you. I'm just moving in a different direction. And you don't have to get too far into it. But um, this card actually is about not letting, um, not leading anybody on, okay? And the same thing applies to any kind of romantic situation. Now, this card could also be speaking about three parties involved. So whether you're the one that is seeing two different people or this is something that you're embroiled with, it has to be... Um, just cut away very decisively because it's hurt it's probably hurting everyone involved and the last of these outside influences is the knight of cups this can be somebody uh, again this could be somebody who comes into your life who is of a water element maybe this is a cancer person like the chariot says because that's a cardinal sign that's somebody who might find yourself with and um, they're very sensitive if you're a woman this would be a man probably under the age of 40 or maybe he's very youthful acting for somebody his age he may be artistic and you may have that in common with him and there's a sense of him being very sensitive to your needs and um, very romantic and you appreciate that because you're romantic too but very kind-hearted. Now, two cards of advice, one being the Queen of Cups, use your intuition in 2018, harness your intuition. If you feel like, because you do have the spiritual, the spiritual card here with the Hierophant, so maybe there are things you can do to enhance your intuition. And one reason to enhance your intuition, besides it just being great for your spiritual growth, is that it will help you in decision making. If you feel like you have one or more things that are hanging on in 2018 Libra that you just want to be done with, meditation can give you that sense of knowingness because you're connecting with your higher self. And your higher self is kind of running the show. You're just along for the ride. <laughs> so um, the thing is to, like they say, to I, I'm kind of uh, quoting Timothy Leary, tune in, turn down. You don't have to drop out. Uh, maybe drop out for a little while and, you know, don't be on the internet, don't be talking on the phone and stuff. And just take time out for yourself every day alone, unplugged. And start listening to that deep, uh, still voice within you. And that will help you, you know, lessen your indecisiveness. And also um, help you to get rid of that uh, muddled thinking, if that's something that has been plaguing you as of late. The other card you got is the hangman. Uh, let go and let God. Don't try to control everything. There may be things happening to you. And this is one of the cards, for instance, where you feel like your life is put on hold. And you have to be willing to not try to micromanage your life. Cardinal signs tend to try to micromanage everything because they... They want to call the shots, and they can't always do that. You can't always do that. So just um, know when it's time to just 
not give up in terms of like lose hope, but to surrender to what is. The outcome, very good one, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. So whatever it is that you have been wanting in 2018, maybe you just might get it, Libra. This can definitely be on the emotional level, so any kind of relationship. But even job satisfaction, that's an emotional kind of a thing. And this card is actually connected to financial well-being too, believe it or not. So, you know, you have some wonderful cards here, Libra. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com. All the best in the new year to you all. Take care. Bye.